What's up guys, it's uh, Ryan from Hardway Racing, laying up underneath my 69 Nova leaf spring car. Um, we had some issues that lights out, first outing out with the car, and um, I've been promising you guys a quick little video to explain what happened, because it's honestly just way easier to do this than it is to explain what happened over and over and over again. So, <clears throat> long story short, what happened is there's a 3 8 pin here. I see it right there in that one that locates the axle on the spring for moving back and forth and then this hardware which is these are studs coming out of the axle housing clamps the spring and holds onto it and then when you load the car the Smith assassin bars or you see them right here that's attached to the front of the spring and it basically binds the spring and causes separation in the car so what happened was when I got the car back from Tin Soldiers, the housing was raw, and I went and powder coated it. When I powder coated it, these aluminum spacers were pretty tough to get on, but they did go on because the powder coat stopped right at the uh, threads, and then right just north of the threads here, where it's smooth shaft on the stud, uh, it was powder coated. And I should have ground that powder coat off and off of the perch up here where these spacers are so the spacers could move up and down freely. So what happened was these bolts were tight, as tight as they could be. But what they did is it tightened this plate of the Smith Assassin bar to the spacers and then to the perch, but it didn't have much for clamp load on the spring itself. So when we got out there with some traction and called lockup, it sheared this pin on the axle which put a bunch of load on that up there and it sheared that pin. It's also got a, you see right there, a little locating pin, just a 3 8 grade eight bolt. It sheared that as well. When that happened, this whole tire and axle and everything slid that way on the spring and put my wheel up in the quarter panel and kicked me kind of dog walking down the track. So we came back, we realized that, um, and we replaced the pin. We thought we just sheared the pin. We put it back together, and then we realized that when we got to closer inspection, if you looked at it in certain angles, you could actually almost see daylight between the spring and the housing, something I'd never looked at that closely before because I just assumed tight was tight, and I just didn't realize that this nut tightened on this spacer, which has a bunch of friction because all the powder coat on it, and if you look really carefully, you probably can't see in a video, but was actually a bit of a gap. I can feel it in my finger now, right here at the top of the spacer, where this spacer, because of the powder coat, didn't go all the way up into the axle. So essentially, this is taller than the spring, so when these bolts are tight, there's no clamp load here. So the plan to fix it is, number one, I gotta take the whole thing apart because we boogered up a thread on this stud. So I gotta cut this stud out of the housing and re-weld a new one in. Not the end of the world, but I gotta get the all housing all the way apart to fix it. Secondly, I'm gonna triple up, or at least double up, on these studs right here that locate the axle. So I'm gonna have double, if not triple, of the amount of 3 8 locating studs that go up, um, that hook the axle to the leaf spring right here. So I'm gonna at least add another set, if not triple them. I'll make this clearance correct by grinding all the powder coat off, and I'll probably have to replace these because honestly, I'll probably have to cut them off. So that'll fix that. And then uh, secondly, on the bars, if I can angle them here, there's a, a, a hole right there. That's where that uh, locating pin is for the front of the Smith Assassin bars. There's another set of holes on the front brackets that I can't utilize because of, you can see here, because of the style of the spring I have. If you look at the Smith Assassin bar directions, this one, is flat and it curls straight up instead of being flat and then coming down before it curls. So because of the type of spring I have, I have to use this top bolt, the top hole. And the head of the bolt here interferes with this. So we are going to utilize that front hole that we've actually already drilled in the spring before we realized that we couldn't put it there because of that. We're gonna utilize that front hole by welding a uh, stud that sticks to this thing and it'll be flush with the bottom of it so it won't interfere with this. So this will have at least two locating studs. This will have at least two 
if not three. I'm really considering leaving the ones where it's at and then putting one ahead of it and before it and setting it up like that. And then I don't know if I'll have this done before Sweet 16 or not. Uh, it's my plans to, but I want to stop and do this correctly because I almost crashed this car on its first outing out and I do not want to do that again. And I'm going to give the Leaf Springs here a uh, very solid chance at uh, going rounds in this car. And if we have this issue again, I will likely pause uh, right where I'm at in this whole process and haul the car up to 10 soldiers and we will look at other options. But um, I have a lot of confidence in the Leaf Spring setup. I have a lot of confidence in the 10 soldier guys. Tons of confidence in the Smith Assassin bars. Um, it was nobody's fault but my own. Um, the powder coat along with just, uh, you know, one of those things I didn't catch when the car went together. Thankfully we caught it, uh, without tearing too much stuff up and, um, we'll be back out shortly. So appreciate you guys support, appreciate all the questions and comments and concerns and all that. And if, uh, you guys got any other questions, let me know. Okay. Bye.